hello good day guys once again you are welcome back to my channel and i'm happy to meet you once again i'm happy to come to you on to be back on your screens i mean yeah so um in this episode i'm going to share some few security tips with you now the reason why i am much um enthused or i am um, very peculiar in sharing this information with you it was is that um, for about three months now that is three months ago i was hacked my derive account was hacked by an unknown hacker but i realized that this individual is from um india is an indian an indian got into my account and then um withdraw my withdrew my fun, uh, my funds through indian rupees okay the person withdrew my funds and i don't want this to happen to anyone else i want to share some few um security tips with you so that you can protect your account all right so um this was actually shared on the ghana partnership platform but i believe this goes to everyone who uses there as a broker whether you're a nigerian you are on um, Tanzania, South Africa, wherever you find yourself on the African continent in America and other continents. So far as you are using um, Deriv as a broker, I think this few security ship, um, tips goes to you. So the first one is you have to keep your logins details private. Okay, you have to keep your login details as your username and your password. You need to keep it pri private. Even if the person you think you want to share with is trustworthy, People change with time, okay? People change with time. And the moment people get to see funds or money, their mindset changes, all right? So um, no matter who it is, don't share your login details. Um, there, there are people who um, come online and say they, they, they work with their event, they need your... Don't share it with anyone, not even... Um, um there is customer care they won't request for any of these information from you then when it comes to the p2p that is if you are transacting on the derive p2p platform make sure you verify um, payment receipt before releasing funds okay make sure you verify that you have received your funds into your wallet your mobile wallet your bank or whichever wallet before you release what funds so that you may not lose your funds all right so that is the second point now the third point is what you need to set two-factor authentication put try to or add a two-factor authentication to your what your uh, um, login so that it will add an extra layer of protection to your what account it adds an extra layer of protection to account so um for this one uh, this one i am very much particular about it um, the Indian who hacked into my account, if I had two-factor authentication sets, this individual wouldn't have been able to what um, logged into my account and withdraw my funds. All right, so kindly take note of that. The person, I think, in one of my YouTube videos, the person got um, was able to what um, I I actually forgot and I typed my. Um, login password whilst i was recording a video okay unknowingly and then the person picked that up and then what logged in but if i had two factor authentication this individual wouldn't have been able to what logged into my account to withdraw my funds so i uh, make sure you add two factor authentication to your what um, your security or your password then you have to set a strong password there are a few things you need to take note of when you are setting a password. Make sure your password is not your name, your date of birth, or anything someone can easily guess. Okay. Now, a strong password should contain between what 12 to 16 characters. And it should have special characters like um, an uppercase, small letters, um, symbols, and... Um, you know letters symbols numbers and special characters okay when you add this to your password it actually uh, makes it impossible for someone to actually guess but when you make it your name your date of birth your like in your phone number these are things people can easily guess and they can have access to your account and withdraw your funds all right so please make sure you set a strong password for your account and then the last one i want to share with you is 
um stop clicking on random links you know people share links in groups people share links directly to you and you don't know what the link is about sometimes um hackers use these links to retrieve your information they use these links to retrieve your information and they can log into your account and what steal your funds so please make sure you protect your your account so that your hard earned money won't be worth taken away easily by an unknown person on the internet all right so these are the few details i want to share you few, few security tips i want to share with you make sure you share with any other person you know that is using uh, the river as a broker or this cuts across okay it cuts across even with other brokers make sure you apply the security details so that your funds will be what save with you thank you so much if you if you found this information useful make sure you, you hit the like button and then if you are new on my channel make sure you subscribe and then you turn on the notification bell icon so that you'll be updated each time i upload um content and i always say that if you want to do know anything about forex trading this is the right channel for you from technical analysis fundamental analysis from tutorials on guides on how to do anything concerning trading this is the right platform for you thank you so much i will see you in my next episode